Herndon, and I'll be performing a monologue from Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. <clears throat> it's no wonder that Dr. Frankenstein suffered so many consequences for trying to play the role of God. He left his creature with no love and abandoned with no hope. But we don't have to worry about that because our creator has promised to never leave us or forsake us. I expected this reception. All men hate the wretched. How then must I be hated, who am miserable amongst all living things? Yet you, my creator, detest and spurn me. Thy creature, to whom thou art bound by dies only dissoluble by the annihilation of one of us. You purpose to kill me. How dare you support this with life? Do your duty toward me. And I will do mine toward you and the rest of mankind. If you comply with my conditions, I will leave you and your friends at peace. Do not comply, and I will glut them on death until be satiated with the blood of your remaining friends. Have I not suffered enough that you seek to increase my misery? Life. Although it may only be an accumulation of anguish, is dear to me, and I will defend it. Remember, thou hast made me more powerful than thyself. My height is superior to thine, my joints more supple. But I will not set myself into opposition of thee, for I am thy creature, and I will be even mild and docile to my natural lord and king if thou will do thy part, the part which thou owest me. O oh, Frankenstein, be not equitable to every other and try and trample upon me alone. To whom thy justice and even clemency and affection is most due. I should be thy Adam. Instead, I'm thy fallen angel without drivers from joy for no misdeed everywhere. I see bliss, from which I am irrevocably excluded. The desert mountains and dreary glaciers are my refuge. I have wandered here many days. These caves of ice, which I only do not fear, are a dwelling to me, and the only one that man does not grudge. These bleak skies I hail, for they are far kinder to me than your fellow beings. If the multitude of mankind knew my existence, they would do as you do, and arm themselves for my destruction. Shall I not hate them who will bore me? I will keep no terms with my enemies. They <clears throat> shall share in my wretchedness. Yet, it is in your power to recompense me and deliver them from such an evil so great that not only you and your family, but thousands of others will be swept up in the whirlwinds of its rage. Let your compassion be moved and do not disdain me. I was once benevolent and good. Misery made me a fiend. Make me happy and I shall again be virtuous. I have wandered these mountains. I have ranged their recesses and I was consumed by a burning passion which you alone can gratify. We may not leave this place until you promise to comply with my conditions. I am alone and miserable. Men will not associate with me, but one as horrible as myself not deny herself to me. My companion must be of the same species and have the same defects. A female, this being you must create. <laughs> 